The position of the notes on the yud and stave. The notes have two characteristics. One is their position on the stave, which shows their sound, and the other is their timing. We will be paying attention to their sound first. We're going to learn their names and their places on the stave. It is not too much, but it is enough for us for now. First, we'll start with the notes that are on the second line from the bottom. The ones in between the second and the third line. The ones between the third and the fourth line. The ones between the fourth and the fifth line. And the ones on the fifth line. And the last one is above the stave. Note that is on the second line is called G. So. We go in order. La, Si, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, and So. Starting with the high notes, we count from the lowest chord. One, two, three. And press your fourth finger over the fourth string. Yes, this sound that you have played is the first note that we have written. G, the note SO. Then we pass to the lower chord or string. We play without pressing the string. This is the sound of A, La. The next note is B, C. And we press it with our middle finger. Just beside it, with our fourth finger, we can find C, Do. We then pass to the lower string and play it without pressing. This way we get Re. Then again, pressing our middle finger, we get E, Mi. By pressing our fourth finger, we find the note F, Fa. Finally, we play the lower string without pressing and get the G, So sound. It is important that you should learn and memorize the notes which were shown on the board, on the stave and on the Ud. Without this knowledge, all your efforts will come to nothing.